Hey guys and welcome to the Hackenons YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about the four best online GDB compiler present for Python and other programming languages. Online compilers are an important tool for programmers which is used for a beginner programmer as well as a pro programmer. It is also known to use an online compiler since it helps us to code anywhere all across the net and helps us to save our code in the databases. Also, online compilers provide debuggers which helps us to debug and solve issues inside our code. So the first compiler that we would talk in this video is the online GDB compiler. So the website name is onlinegdb.com. And as you go on this website, you will come across a simple UI that usually provides us to code with a language C. However, you can code in many languages such as C, C++, Java, Python, HTML, JavaScript, CSS, Ruby, Perl, R, etc. So let's say you want to write some code. So you write the code. Let's say this is just a boiler code of Hello World. So you press F9 or this run button you can see that the output is printed towards the bottom of the screen. Likewise, you can perform functions, calculations, everything that is possible with a local compiler using this online compiler. As you can see, there is also a debugging tool present in this, which will help us to debug our programs. To use the debugger, we simply need to click the F8 button or press on the debug button. And as you can see, a set of instructions come and you can perform your debugging based on your variables and your expressions. On the right hand side, you will also get a display showing all your variables, expressions, call stacks, etc. So this was the first compiler that we were talking about. The next compiler is known as REPL IT and its website is called as REPLIT.com. As you go on the REPL IT, you need to log in and create a user email. So as you can see, I've created a user account and you simply need to click on this new REPL button to create a REPL where you can write your code. So for the timing, I'll just create a simple REPL and they're asking a language. So I'll choose Python and the name of their REPL can be anything. So for the timing, I'll just say hackathons. And you can choose to keep it public or private. I'll keep it public for the timing. And I simply need to click on create REPL. And as you can see, I come on a page where it says main.py, which means this REPL website creates directly a Python file where I can perform my code. So let's say I type in print hello world. And to run it, I simply need to click on the run button. And as you can see, the output is visible on our screen. A handy feature of Lepel IT is it helps us to create databases and helps us to ship in packages. It has also got a debugger, which helps us in creating simple debugging tool. And it is also useful in creating simple servers that can run on the Repel website itself. So our second choice is Repel, and you should check it out. Now the next website that we would like to talk about is called as pythonanywhere.com. So pythonanywhere.com is usually created as such a type of domain where you can host your projects based on Flask and Django. So basically it is used to store all your files and run it across the internet. To create such an account, you need to first sign up with Python Anywhere and then you will come on the home page. As you can see, I've already signed up. Hence, I'm coming on the home page. Then you can see in the section called as web apps, you need to click on this web app portion to open your web, web app tab. So I'll just click on that. And as you can see, you can see this option called add a new web app. So you need to simply click on that and go to a set of options and then you will be having a simple web app. And for that, then you need to go in its directory and you can create any file that you want and you can work and create Python code. For example, let me create a new file called as main.py and just upload it. So now I'm come on a simple compiler. 
and let me just zoom in so let me just type in print hello world and let me just run this and as you can see in the output window at the down portion you will get your output display where whatever code you are working will be present so the advantage of using python anywhere is it can host any type of a web development project created using flask or django and finally the last website that we would like to talk about is called as ide1.com like the other websites id.com also provides a set of programming languages that you can write your code in for example i would like to go with the python programming language and you can see this section which says your code goes here so that basically tells us that we need to write our code over there so let me as usual type in print hello world and to run it you simply need to click on this run button and this loads on to a new page and as you can see it says stdin standard input is empty which you do not need to worry about but in this output call as std out it prints a output that is hello world so this is another website that you can use to create code and using your private account you will be able to access them and save them permanently to summarize this video we spoke about the first online compiler that is online gdb.com the next one was repel it and the third one was python anyway.com and finally we spoke about id1.com if you like this video and found it insightful do drop a like subscribe to the hackathon's youtube channel and press the bell icon for further fun and amazing videos